getting, I guess, a little off tr uh, topic. One thing that uh, I was reading your 10K that stuck out to me was your mention of autonomy. And I know this is something that the HyperChange subscribers are probably all over. Um, and something about, you know, you have your software background. The Arcimoto is all, it's taken me a while to appreciate this, but I guess everything is sort of controlled by electronics in the vehicle. Yep. And so when you say you're designing it for autonomy, um, you're basic, you know, the way I think about Tesla, everything's controlled by software in the touch screen over time. It's just about software updates um, to like leverage, you know, and everything's connected. So you can, you can just push software updates to increase uh, functionality and features. And I'm curious, you know, about the Arcimoto, if you could just tell us a little bit about now that you're in production, what sort of systems do you have in place so that these cars could be maybe upgraded for full autonomy or how do you think about that whole piece? Well, well, sure. It, it, you know, we've we've designed the vehicle from the very beginning with the idea that it would be a platform for autonomy. So that, and what that means from the on the vehicle platform side is just that it, the throttle, uh, regenerative braking, steering can all be controlled by wire. Um, and we are not, uh, we have not been in a position to date to develop the full autonomy stack on top of that which is fine. There are, there are literally dozens of companies going after various solutions to that problem for various applications. And so what, where we see the role that, that we can fill is providing, uh, you know, just really providing the, the, the rolling foundation for a whole host of different autonomous solutions. And where, you know, where, when you look at the, the autonomy vision that's that's promoted in the traditional automotive world. It's like, well, hey, we're just going to take cars and make them drive themselves. Um, but when you look at rideshare, eighty-five percent of rideshare is one occupant, one passenger. So the the idea that we're going to just switch out all of these single occupant gas cars for single occupant full size autonomous vehicles to us makes absolutely no sense. We think it makes sense that our autonomous you know, robo taxi fleet of the future is is much more human scale. And then that way we can begin to reclaim a lot of the asphalt that we dedicate to cars for more human scale purposes. 